Creek Town's GDC 2016 coverage is brought to you by NVIDIA. At the Game Developers Conference this year, we were invited to an Oculus event. At first, I didn't know what to expect, but just before the event, we were told that it was going to be Minecraft for the Gear VR. I'm sure you're sitting back and thinking, Minecraft for the Gear VR? And yeah, you're right. The Gear VR is a VR headset that was made by Samsung in collaboration with Oculus, and it works with the Galaxy S6, the Galaxy S6 Edge, the Galaxy S7, and the Galaxy S7 Edge. And at the actual event, Pamelucky was on hand. He was walking around, talking to everyone and just chilling out like a normal guy, which is really, really cool to see. You don't generally see that with a lot of these big companies. You know, the big wigs will walk around, they'll shake their hands in front of the camera and then they'll, they'll kind of disappear. But Pamelucky was just sitting there eating nachos. He was wearing a Hawaiian shirt and his flip flops, which was really awesome to see because that's what you see on the internet of him. I finally got to introduce myself and meet Pamelucky in person. And John Carmack was available just talking to all of the media and all of the gamers that were there just chatting about game engines and virtual reality and technology and everything else. Like meeting John Carmack is like meeting a gaming god himself. So that was kind of cool that Oculus made them both accessible to everyone. And so back to Minecraft, the demo that we played was just powered by the Galaxy S6. The Galaxy S6 is over a year old now, so it's surprising that a game like this was shown off on an older handset. But it goes to show that you don't need a super powerful headset for a lot of these games. Minecraft isn't the most graphically intense game and it played incredibly well on the Galaxy S6 with the Gear VR headset with 60 frames a second or more, probably closer to 90 frames a second or more. Now, I've only played Minecraft a little bit on the PC. I wouldn't even count it as me playing it. So this was my first true experience of Minecraft and then my first experience of playing Minecraft in virtual reality. So they sat us down on little chairs that could turn in 360 degrees with a SteelSeries controller and I was playing Minecraft in virtual reality and it was pretty cool. The sense of scale that you get is far more than what you get on the PC or on a console because normally you're looking at a flat screen. Normally to see somewhere else, you have to turn your mouse or your joystick. In order to look around in the Gear VR version of Minecraft, you would just physically look around. You'd turn your head and you'd see something else. And to move over there, then you'd use the controller to move yourself. It was quite intuitive. The controllers worked very well. And everyone that tested Minecraft on Gear VR seemed to be quite impressed. But there was one thing that John Carmack said when we were there. After we had tested it, we walked back upstairs to where everyone was eating and mingling. And John Carmack was having a speech. And he said, Minecraft for the Gear VR will be the biggest game for VR in 2016. And I turned around to a friend and I gave him a look of, really? Did he just say that Minecraft will be the biggest game for VR in 2016? This is John Carmack. So the Gear VR event was, was good for Minecraft, but I really expected for Oculus to use John Carmack's talent for something bigger and something better. I truly expected and I still want John Carmack to work on and develop a new first person arena shooter exclusive to PC and more so exclusive to virtual reality, exclusive to the Oculus Rift. If they did that, they would truly have something, a AAA title, a launch title they could have had that would sell hundreds of thousands of rifts just for that. We're talking about the guy that's responsible for Doom, the guy responsible for Quake. He's a huge talent. He is a god of game engines. Oculus should really use him for his talent and build a new engine for virtual reality, a new arena first person shooter. It would be awesome to see, you know, a, a Quake 3 arena type shooter in VR with next generation graphics and complete support for the Oculus touch controllers. So maybe we'll see that later this year when Oculus launched the touch controllers. But for now, the Gear VR event for Minecraft was a very, very cool event. And I think that anyone that plays Minecraft and any fan of Minecraft is going to instantly fall in love playing Minecraft on the Gear VR and that they should definitely try it when it comes out later this year. <laughs>